Fishnet, which is Titleist and Footjoy, um, and Pinnacle. So there's a few brands under the under the name. So uh, yeah, I've, I was lucky enough. I'm a pretty big golf fan, so I sort of just thinking of life after cricket, uh, what I'll be interested in. So I've asked a question and didn't actually think too much would come off it, come of it, but. Yeah, I was lucky enough to get a placement here, which has been excellent. Well, Luke's had the great opportunity this week to spend time in a lot of our departments. He spent time day one in the warehouse and the importance of water accuracy when it comes to sending out product. And we send out a lot of product around Australia with 700 customers. Day two, I was very pleased to see Luke on our production line putting a grip on a club. So that was uh, very good to see him getting very hands-on in that environment. I had the opportunity to spend time with our account managers on the road, importantly visiting our green grass and off course partners and, and seeing what our customers expect from a company like a Christian and Tyler's and for Joe Brands, that was great. Uh, yesterday I had the opportunity to spend a day with our custom club fitting expert at our regional fitting centre at Spring Valley and he learned a lot about club fitting, shafts um, and uh, the importance of getting the length and lie right. And today he's been in head office learning a lot about what a head office does to, to make the product end up in pro shops and off course stores all the way around Australia. Having a part in all different aspects of the company gives me a bit of an insight to what I like, dislike. There's been th things here that I've, uh, I won't have any interest in later on, but there's things here that I will. So it's they've been great. They've given me a good taste of all aspects of the company. I think he's enjoyed it. Um, I think anyone that comes to visit the plant and visit the factory and see what goes on yeah, has a great time, especially if you're a golfer. To be honest, it's just about the, the, the little mistakes that they make. So if they do make a little mistakes, there's no finger pointing, there's no, you've done this, it's uh, right, we've made a mistake here, the whole company's made it, not one person. Let's get it fixed as quick as we can. So I think, uh, there can be, in professional sport, there can be a bit of blame a person or blame someone for something and instead of just as a team uh, doing your best to fix a problem. <laughs>